Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. We're going to have a look at the prices and obviously exciting times ahead now that we have come into the new all-time high area. We've gone through the previous all-time high um, this morning. I did a video just before that actually talking about, you know, could we see the all-time high today? And then when I looked the next time, actually when I read one of your comments telling me we've hit the all-time high, I just pushed out another video, came late to work, but I just wanted to make you aware and also update you about what's going on. And um, yeah, so the uh, the video I spent some time on before that actually was a wasted one pretty much. Didn't get a lot of views, understandably, because the... Um, all-time high happened already so nevertheless we are now back into the game we are uh, yeah sort of in that all-time high area we haven't fallen back yet which is great and we're gonna have a look at the closer price and see if that uh, where the current support and resistance levels are what you need to watch out for and again before we start i just want to mention i can't really i get a lot of comments now about you know is it still a time to buy I can't answer that. I don't want to answer that because there are just too many things that come into play. You know, how long do you want to be invested? Um, first of all, I can't give any investment advice anyway, and these videos never are. But, you know, I can't... It, it all depends on how long do you want to be invested, how much money do you have as well, what's your risk level and everything. Because, you know, I've been making videos since, you know, we've been at the $1 level. And that was obviously a great time to invest, at least for myself and probably for you as well. It was great prices. But now we are at 250. So everybody who missed that, you know, is it still a good time to invest? I can't answer that. My conviction, you know, my con I'm, I'm convinced that um, Cardano will go to at least four and a half dollars this year. But, you know, maybe it will be a bumpy ride. So buying now, maybe we could drop back to, to two dollars, maybe, you know, before we go back, before we go up to 450. I don't know. And um, so, yeah, it's always a bit uh, difficult to, to recommend that. Obviously, I... For myself, I'm convinced that Cardano is the right choice. It's the crypto at the moment in this uh, second leg of the bull market that is outperforming other cryptos in the top 10 at least. And it, it performs really well. It performs really well and the project is great. Lots happening. And I wouldn't do these videos if I wasn't convinced that this is a great project. So you need to come to your own conclusions. I only can give you hints, you know, here and there. You also need to listen to different YouTubers. But buying at an all-time high is, I think, never a good decision. I never want to do it and even though I buy um, cryptos pretty much every week now because I do dollar cost averaging I think that's the best way to do it anyway so for me I but still I don't want to buy at an all-time high because um, it's just for me I, I've got that rule and it's just what I stick to if you don't have rules in in trading or in investing then um, sometimes your emotion can uh, emotions can get a hold of you which in emotions and money never go well together right let's have a look at Bitcoin first we talked about this on this channel, this ascending wedge, and I'll zoom out a little bit. This is the four hour chart, by the way. At the moment, I'm just looking at the four hour charts mainly because there is so much happening and it's quite exciting. So four hour, you can see a little bit more. We talked about that for uh, the ascending wedge here, actually bearish pattern. And we saw this move actually to the downside a little bit. And I've always said that this could be a bearish pattern. And, you know, some people were there who, you know, left some comments and everything that this is never bearish, blah, blah. But it actually is. And um, we had these moves play out before. And you can see it's pretty much the same move that we did here in May when we just had that losing momentum on Bitcoin. And then we went down after. It's, it's the same movement, guys. It's the same movement. So that is why it is a bearish pattern. You can verify that on the chart. We had the same thing, not that strong here, but it is when something is losing momentum here, yeah, here. It's always that shape where something is losing momentum and this ascending wedge, is, uh, so yeah, ascending wedge, is, it's actually going up, but more and more sellers are coming in as well. Still buyers in the market, but a lot of sellers as well. But yeah, it played out to be a little bit bearish, um, but I've actually gone back to my previous videos um, today, I think, and uh, watched a few of them. And I actually saw, or, you know, I actually said that there is a chance if we can bounce back from one of these support levels down here and we get back into this um, ascending wedge, that we'll be back in the game. And that is exactly what happened. There was this broadening triangle pattern forming as well. And now we're actually in that. But we are also in the ascending wedge both still bearish patterns so needs to we need to observe what's going to happen now um, at least at the moment we are in that so this line here 
which is the lower support level of this ascending wedge, seems to act as support now. This will, if we follow that, this would eventually take us to the 50k. So that is my scenario at the moment. Yes, we can always drop down, but as you can see, we did drop down and we are back in. So the buyers were very buy uh, quick to buy that back. Two huge pumps, so I think at the moment it's looking more bullish actually. Um, also the MACD, and it's only small down here, the MACD is actually turning green again. And also the RSI, it is not in overbought territory, is it? Why do I have two lines here? No, I don't think it is in overbought territory. Um, I need to get that sorted this evening when I have a bit more time. But no, I don't think it's overbought. And also the MACD is turning green, actually bullish sign. So I'm quite happy with how the four hour chart for Bitcoin is looking like. So I expect we'll actually move further up, especially as we have uh, these support levels here. And even these um, the two moving averages, 20 and 50, they're very close to each other. They're also very close to the current price action. So I believe we've got three lines of support here. First of all, the ascending wedge and then these two moving averages. So I believe now we could maybe on the weekend even get to the 50k. That would be great. Let's have a look at Cardano outperforming Bitcoin at the moment. Really nice to see that playing out. What we can see, we are uh, on the four hour chart again. We have broken the um, resistance level that we talked about on this channel, which was the previous all time high. We have actually um, seen that this, it was a triangle. I actually took it out. That triangle played out as well because that was a symmetric triangle that was forming before that uh, bar here. That candle actually um, took us above the all-time high. So that was an ascending tri uh, a symmetric triangle, which is a trend con continuation pattern. As we were just coming from a bullish flag, for me, it makes sense. It was a trend continuation to the upside. I did say that, and we could now secure our space above the 50, um, above the all-time high level at 246. We take a look at the hourly chart. What we can see as well that this, um, and I brought that in this morning, this Fibonacci trend extension, where I talked about possible next targets. And we can see that this first line here of the Fibonacci, is that the FIB extension? I think it is. Um, yeah, talking about next possible price levels, yeah. Um, so we can see that this, actually this first level of 251 acts now as support, no, actually as resistance level. You can see it, that we try to get to, through this 250 or actually 251 um, support, no, resistance line. So we tried it here, we tried it here, here, and again here. So this 251, is the next level and you can see that I, I showed you these um, levels in the morning also I mentioned at the at the beginning that um, you know with the bullish flag the 250 is our target and we are there now so very nice how that played out again we need to be a bit careful that this doesn't form a double top double top could if we go below the neckline which is currently at um, I would say here this Fibonacci level 0 0.786 which is two dollars 37 if we go below that, that could indicate a move to the downside, yeah? So we need to be a bit careful, but we've got the all-time high also at 246 providing support now. It was tested twice already, three times actually, one, two, and three with these three candles. And now we are possibly moving uh, again, testing it again, and then hopefully that will be um, an area where we will trade between the 246 and the 251. My, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still bullish, so normally, when you see these all-time highs happening, you um, normally see immediate momentum because this is when um, there is, you know, buyers are coming in. And um, however, people buying at these levels, they are normally then the weak hands, which will be shaken out as soon as we move, as we see moves to the downside. So these are the weak hands. No disrespect if anybody bought. I think it's great to buy Cardano anyway, but it's just fact. That's what everybody's talking about. The weak hands, the people who bought at these levels, who then, if prices drop again, will either uh, get their stop losses activated or just buy because they are panicking. Um, but again, it comes down to, do you believe in the project or not? Anyway, what we can see here, even on the micro scale, on the one hour that we can see these, um, not really bullish flag patterns, but you can see actually moves to the downside and then these pumps. So it seems to be that we're losing steam a little bit. Um, I would have hoped for more momentum on this level 
but it seems like we're losing a little bit of momentum at the moment but that is because of that sub, uh, resi sub, uh, resistance line now so um however how are we looking i want to have a look at the four hour chart um because on uh, the hourly you know these indicators they change very free very very frequently generally on the four hour chart you can see the macd still bullish do we have the volume i always think the volume is very important even though a lot of the ada um even though a lot of the coins are currently staked but still i think we have quite good volume here at the moment so that shows it's a really positive sign and then yeah we see the macd in the positive and also that is good and we can see the chicken money flow indicating money is flowing in what i want to point out i showed you the awesome indicator yesterday the awesome indicator i think i took took it out again um the awesome indicate oscillator awesome oscillator actually showed a strong buy signal yesterday it is great and i said the awesome oscillator to, to use together with the moving averages can really show you a really really um a strong signal and it did because the day after that we moved to the upside and we actually broke the all-time high my view is currently that we will stay in the all-time high i think the general sentiment especially with bitcoin trading again within this ascending wedge which will lead us to the 50k um i think that is a good sign i also think that the sentiment is currently quite positive apparently institutional investors are going into cardano there was some news coming out don't think that we will easily drop below the all-time high level i don't think so um however i'm a bit conscious that we are losing momentum a little bit i would have hoped for more pumps but that could be coming i think we need to i think as soon as we can close above the 251 line here you know have a few candles closing about the, uh, above the 251 we should be good to go up um at the moment it's a bit in the limbo so for me i still believe we're in an uptrend macd shows positive but it's always difficult to trade all-time highs i think um again what to watch out for you know if if it was if i was trading now um i would possibly wait if the candles break out above the 251 and if we retest the 251 i would only then make a decision if i'm buying or not because it seems like we have a few a little bit of difficulty to get through this 251 level i would also want to see if the 246 is holding you know it's impossible nearly to predict that it's impossible to predict that we need to wait in trading we need to wait for signals so these signals are usually break through uh, something like an all-time high retest it and then successfully test it and then have the next green candle so you know having a look in the hourly what are we doing at the moment we have actually um tested that so it's a red candle that we've tested that green candle but it's losing momentum we need to see yeah so there is not a higher high here this makes me a bit skeptical this makes me a bit skeptical because what you would you have a higher high here another higher high another higher high but now we see a lower high and as i said if we drop below this neckline first of all here the 246 if we drop below that mm, might be a bit tricky and also the other one is here at the uh, this fibonacci level as i said at two 37 so watch out for these um my view however is even if we break below the all-time high again today i think cardano is on its way to new all-time highs in the next couple of weeks before we see the mainnet rollout yeah what is a really good sign and i just want to mention that before i close this video we've got this um moving average here this is a 20-day moving average on the hourly chart moving up i think potentially if we trade between these two lines here um if that moving average will come up and that might drag the price up okay that might act as support as it did before really well actually so that might drag the price up so that will happen in the next three hours i would say if it will be dragged up maybe we'd break down before that but this is really nice that this is so close to the current price action and it will possibly provide a further support for prices to rise above this 251 level that's what i can see here that's what i would now want to see right so let's see i'll of course update you in another evening video today i hope you enjoyed this video hope you liked it looking really good for cardano at the minute we're all excited i know that 
don't get frustrated if we drop because this is never impossible um, everything can always happen but we can only say what we can see on the charts and that still looks bullish for me especially because the moving average is moving up it's only the hourly chart so things can have happen frequently and quickly but everything looks pretty good the long the longer we can stay in that um, range the closer the um, you know on the daily and the four hour chart the moving averages will follow as well right all looking really good i hope it made sense i uh, hope you liked the video if you did please comment as always because that really helps me to keep me motivated but also it helps the algorithm for the channel to grow we're growing really fast and then please hit the like button if you don't like the content dislike that's fine as well helps the algorithm as well and if you um, want to subscribe please do so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video bye Thank you.